Hi, this is Marco Wu from eProgrammer.com. Um, well, I'm going to show how can we getting the data from a Flickr file. What I'm saying is that uh, um, normally we will have a lot of diagrams when we do analysis, but somehow after we we create the diagram, we delete the data. We believe like we have the light light pole, we have the light figure. Uh, but sometimes we want to get the data back from the figure so we can modify it. Uh, we are, I'm not saying modify the data, we want to modify the scale, mod modify uh, uh, what is the X and Y relationship or whatever. But how? If we don't have the data, um, but we have the figure file, what we can do is we can get the data back from the figure file. Uh, for example, I have a data doc, uh, FIG file in here. Let me double click it. It will open. Um, that's just data. But when it is displayed in this figure, basically we cannot get it from number. Let's say if I want to get it a, an array of the value, how can we do it? Here's the trick. So um let us create a handle so it can handle the object so let me call it f open figure use the open figure function oops open figure i think oh I think just my wireless keyboard has some problem. Let's try one more time. F is equal to open figure. So um, my my data, the figure called data dot fig dot fig. Okay, so we create, it. we open it, we open the, the uh, figure. We create also the um, figure handle. The way we are doing this is we are going to get the information. So how can we find the object inside the figure handler? So we can call it H is equal to find object in the figure handler F which we just create and the type of the handler have to be equal to line. Okay, so we find all the we we get the handler of which like contain line. Okay, so what we what we do next? We can get the data. X data is equal to get. the light object and let the x data and very similarly y data is getting from the property called y data okay so now let's close all the existing ports and then port what is in x data and y data okay so we can using the data array to create the same port and if we check the size of y data you can see there is a thousand point as same as the X data. So that is the way we get the data back from a figure file. It's just extremely important when you use um, MATLAB to do a lot of analysis. After you create like thousands of port and then you want to get the data back from the port, you don't have to go back to the figure and then like select point by points and write down the value from um, then that would be very bad if you have to do that. So that's just a trick.